Matt, I have a question. Have you heard of a magical place called Walmart? Walmart? Yeah, it's a place with always low prices. Such as? Okay. Okay. This first item. I took a trip oh. to my local Walmart and bought a wide variety of technological inventions and marvels. We've done videos like this in the past and uh, I had to um, guess the price. Is that the case today? Did I leave the price sticker on that item? Sure that did. Me? I'm gonna go on a limb and say this was uh, $12.92. Uh, Look, it's on clearance, okay? I got excited. Did they get the new AirPods early? Yes, that is exactly what this is. So what we're doing here is very simple. We're going to be bringing out a wide variety of Walmart house brand pieces of tech. So whether there'll be headphones or a whole box of goodies you got down here. Matt, outside of this one, you gotta guess how much they are and if they're actually worth it. $12.92 for a pair of fully wireless earbuds and take a look on the bottom. They're USB-C. Yep. It's one-tenth the price of AirPods, legitimately. Put them in your ears. All right, let's see what we got here. Is that not pairing? They're not showing up whatsoever. Uh, they do, it is charged. Did you throw away the instructions? This is America, baby. We don't listen to no instructions. Hashtag stay toxic. All right, let's let them charge. Let's continue on with our next item. Okay. We should give these a fair shot. Do you ever have charging problems, Matt? What if I could tell you that there was a wireless charger available from our good friends at Walmart? It is a two-in-one wireless charging stand for both your Apple Watch and your phone of whatever kind of choosing you'd like because it uses the widely available Qi standard. We don't need this. That didn't make it very far. That still did not make it any... Well, that's not staying there. That's we're, fine. We're, that's we're, fine. We're, look, at, look at that... We'll get rid of that one. Yeah, so what we do is we just kind of um, stick that in. Oh, just, it feels gross. It it like, it doesn't feel like it wants to go the in The thing here. is, you put it in once, you never have to think about it again. It's great that it's got like this little nice thing, but then this is just ugly, and then... You plug it directly in, it's fine. Look, everything you need... Just... <laughs> ignore this part, look. It looks great now. Doesn't anything okay well oh for one let's get chi oh for two it helps you turn the power strip on matt there we go charging how much do you think you would pay for such a lovely invention from the folks over at walmart 19.99 25.88. 25.88, okay. If it had the built-in Apple Watch charger, it would be a lot nicer instead of having to use your own cable. If it had one more USB, that'd be a lot better. This does not have wireless charging. But it has wired charging. It's almost the same thing. Oh, oh, that feels gross. Oh, that's not a good port. Matt. Yeah. Would you say that you are a fan of entertainment? What if I could tell you yeah. that you could experience all of the wonder, glory, and beauty of 4K Google TV, thanks to your friends at Walmart. This is a 4K UHD streaming device. We don't need to fire it up because uh, we didn't remember to bring a TV in and we don't have room on the set for it. So you just have to imagine <laughs> it. But this has full Google TV, just like a Chromecast or a lot of actual TVs have built so it's, in. So uh, it's Android TV according to the box. Android TV, I believe it comes with the remote as well. Very much a competitor to the Chromecast. All right, this automatically gets all the points because of one super simple fact. The buttons are for apps that people actually use. All the preloaded buttons are usually basically ad space. Imagine watching House of the Dragon in 4K with this. How much would you pay for this 4K Android TV streaming box? $25. 1988. 1988. With full Android TV and a nice remote, Look, man, I, I give this, this is this is uh, A tier, as long as it works. Thank you to New for sponsoring today's video. We got to try out the brand new KQI3 Max. It's the ultimate thrill and commuter scooter, a fun phrase if I've ever heard one. It's 450 watt rear wheel drive and 48 volt battery, give you all the juice you need, and with speeds over 20 miles per hour and a 40 mile range, that's a lot of fast range, Matt. And you too can be running up that hill since <laughs> you can handle up to a 25% incline grading. That's actually very steep. That's very steep. And you'll be safe 
safe on your way back down to using the KQI-3 state-of-the-art dual disc brakes. And you'll get a little bit of extra battery life with the regenerative braking, just like those fancy electric cars. The KQI-3 Max is as comfy and as stable as you'll find. It's got wider tires, deck, and handles on the competition. It's also got a 265 pound carrying capacity. You won't find this form factor or power from anyone else at this price point. And it was also so confident in their product that they are going to offer you a two year warranty. And you can get up to 25% off select models this Black Friday. So be sure to check out the link in the description to learn more. And a huge shout out to New for sponsoring today's video. Zoom zoom! While you're enjoying the beauty of all that life has to offer with Android TV, yeah. it's probably time for you to unwind. What's your favorite pastime? I mean, I you know I'm a big fan of karaoke. Playing games! Yeah, yeah. With the Game On Gaming Starter Kit, this has everything you could ever need as an aspiring gamer. Keyboard, a gaming keyboard, you get yourself a gaming mouse, mouse pad, and a headset. You can actually check the keys. Mm -hmm. I built a keyboard out of a cardboard box. It does sound a little cardboardy because you're also pressing cardboard as you yeah. touch it. I'll tell you, it doesn't feel great though to be like. All right. So keyboard, well, very who cares important. because it comes with a CD. What's the CD for? Uh, Boner Jams 2006. <laughs> oh, oh, a lot okay. of stuff. All right. The mouse feels quite nice. I'm not gonna lie. That feels really good. The buttons or whatever. You really bring out the surface right now? I. This is the only Windows laptop I use. So you've got yourself a headset which does have a removable jack so you can go headphone and microphone or a combo, which is very nice. With your Surface, you should be able to just plug this directly in. You also have yourself a high quality keyboard and high quality mouse and mouse pad. I'm not sure what else you could ever ask for. Nice mouse, right? It, the DPI is adjustable. Yeah. So the keyboard is not good. It uh, does seem a little uh, like it leaves a little bit to be desired. While Matt prepares his high quality gaming Surface. Oh. Show up. Also, this is pair. This right here is available. Don't pair with the remote, pair with the ear pods. So let me, right here, I'll do it for you. I wish this was the first time I could say that you put stuff in my ear. Okay, first of all, you put them in. <laughs> put them in the wrong ear. Experience, the $12 headphones, Matt. These are not good. They're $12. In order to get any type of volume out of them, I had to go max. Yeah. Like at half volume, they are so quiet. Do you want it? Do nah, it's okay. I'll just trust you. Don't, you don't want to touch, nah, you don't want to touch my ear juice? For $12, I don't think these are good headphones. They were on clearance. I was excited, but it's fine. You can put them back in the... Uh, that's fine. Why don't you try to play a game on these high-quality gaming accessories? It'll totally change your mind about Walmart tech. Jump into whatever you want. You've got cloud gaming, so the world is your oyster. What do you think about the headset, the mouse, and the keyboard? It's a halfway decent looking keyboard, but it's still a membrane keyboard. Yeah, it's got G though. Who needs RGB when you have G? The real winner in here is this actual, this mouse actually feels really good. We've looked at a bunch of cheap mice in here and this one feels fantastic. How much would you pay for this high quality Walmart gaming bundle? I'd say 40 bucks. $64. I don't think 64 is a bad price. Yeah. But the fact that really the only thing that's like, that is, pretty good is this mouse. You were better off buying individual, like, like the, if, the mouse and then one of the better right. keyboards like, and one of the better if headsets. You, if, they yeah. sell, if they sell this uh, this mouse outside the bundle, this is a really good, like, this feels fantastic. Matt, it's time for you to take your gaming career to the next level. Have you be considered becoming a streamer? I, I already am. You can go check me out on Twitch sometimes. This is the on 1440p webcam with a built-in ring light. All right. So yeah, just plug it in there. So it's capacitive. Mm. And so you just like, it's not labeled. I think you just tap the button. So, I mean, if we go to uh, cozy mode in here. Ooh. Matt, before you test that, you know what you're missing right now in your setup? What am I? A high quality USB podcast microphone. Yep. I'm sorry to say that you can't record this for streaming. It's only for podcasts, but it's ideal for podcast vlogs and voiceovers with professional sound quality and a cardioid recording pattern. It is quote, plug and play. All right, so this is me. Uh, we don't need this anymore because uh, I'm recording with this wonderful podcast mic. I did need to tweak this because uh, I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna show you what it looked like by default and it looked really bad. So this is what it looks like with the default settings from the camera. As you can see, a lot worse, a lot more washed out. That's with that mic? Yeah. 
Ah. So this does not sound good. So some uh, setup is certainly required for this webcam and microphone setup that might not be delivering incredible results out of the box. How much do you think the camera and the webcam cost, Matt? Camera, $19.99. What? For LED and 1440p? No. Guess again. $34.99. 30. 30 bucks for this thing ain't bad. That mic, if it's anything more than 20 bucks. Nah. I, I will say if that's really what it sounds like, if you actually go and tweak it, it is completely worthless. But my thought is that we've just got some gain settings wrong, but that's fine, Matt. I have a very important question for you. Yeah. You've now been gaming, you've been streaming. What happens when you want to upload all your clips to, oh, I don't know, YouTube or shorts or something? You got to edit them, right? And what better way to edit them than with an external SSD. Oh, ex external SSD. There's too many things on the table. So with your gigabytes and gigabytes of hilarious stream highlights, you can load them up on this, a USB-C external drive. This is the lightest thing that I've ever felt. This cable weighs more than this SSD. At least it's USB-C. Wow, that is very light. It's USB-C at least, 250 gigs up to 400 megabytes per second read and some number of write, I'm sure. How much would you pay for such a high quality SSD from our friends at Walmart? $35. $21.99. $21.99. For an SSD of 250 gig? This, yeah. I have a feeling that this is just an SD card. Are you feeling like a streamer? You've got your gaming gear, you've yeah. got your webcam, you've got your SSD, your microphone. Uh -huh. You know what you're missing though? A dope background. Look at all this nonsense of the set. You can't steal that. You need to decorate with a multicolor LED light strip because as we all know, you're not a true gamer if you don't RGB. We'll be right back after we uh, set up this multicolor LED light strip with sound reactive technology. All right, Matt, are we ready to experience some visual bliss? That's really fast, what? How good is that? Let's be very quiet. Oh, there we go. All okay. Right. What a lovely so pineapple just... we have behind us. You guys, we can't keep the pineapple anymore, right? Well, we only turn it upside down on Thursday nights uh, after 6 p.m. Mm, I don't like that. What, what a coincidence. It just so happens to be Thursday. Can we have cozy, please? No, not after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> All cozy. Right. We'll go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. After oh. you've experienced the visual bliss of this RGB strip and completed your gaming setup, or have you, how much would you pay for this delightful RGB strip? 20 bucks. 11.88. 11.88, that's good. That's Always good. low prices, baby, let's go. <laughs> are they on rollback? So while I was doing my shopping at Walmart, I had the delightful assistance of a very, very kind associate in the tech department who may or may not actually watch the channel. And so my first question to him, was what's the best Walmart on-branded device you've got? And he didn't even blink an eye. He walked straight over and picked a Bluetooth speaker. He said so many people bought these and come back and buy a bunch more because he says they sound legitimately good. So I instantly bought one because he would never lead me astray. Visually, it looks good. Actually finding a Bluetooth speaker that doesn't look stupid is actually, this looks really nice. Okay. And of course you could use this for gaming. I feel like it's not quite a gaming setup, but you know what? You've got a little bit of party light on the bottom. You can incorporate this into your streaming setup along with your pineapple. I mean, your light strip and everything else in behind. Let's get some proper music up here. Just uh... Holy shit, <clears throat> that's pretty good. <laughs> that is really good. That's loud. You get a little, little party light. I am legitimately very impressed. This is the best thing that you've shown me today. How much would you pay for this medium rugged LED speaker from the wonderful On brand? I wouldn't bat an eye at $45. It is $29.88. Absolute steal. Go out and get one of these immediately. This is actually fantastic. Well, Matt, if you're gonna go out and steal, you need to actually drive to Walmart. But you know what happens if on the way to Walmart, someone tries something nefarious? You gotta make sure you're protected with a dash cam, a dual dash cam. So it has an ultra wide angle lens and it's got a screen. Feel that. 
That's fine. That's not that bad. So what you got here is a rear facing or a forward facing camera to look out your dash. But then you've got a screen and one facing toward you. So you can see some bozo in a 1994 Ford Focus who's going to run in the back of you. Shall we take this out to the car and take a little drive, Matt? Yeah. Let's do it. So by removing the plastic on our webcam, I'm going to mount it to the car. It does come with the cigarette lighter. So by plugging that in, I should you be able to turn on. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just, it's already recording. I had to do nothing. There was literally no setup of any kind. So let's pull out of here and see how the 1080p quality is, shall we? So this is what it looks like as you're driving. So you want to just make sure that you're not doing anything ridiculous or scary. Ah! So But it's very important to make sure that if you're doing anything scary or someone gets in your way, you get some very high quality sort of video from it. I was like looking at the actual image quality, it looks a little blown out. It's The problem is this will capture someone who's like gonna do something in front of you. I don't think you're gonna be able to get a license plate off of this, but at least you can see Matt's reaction when I do some exciting things in a car, which I'm not gonna do, because I'm gonna be very kind and polite. Kenzie, do you know the, do you remember the price off the top of your head? It was $39.99. $39.99? I don't know how much a dash cam should cost, but that seems okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that seems cams. okay. So, uh, Walmart, pretty good, right? I give this a B.